Good morning, it is Clay Trader. Hope everybody enjoyed their 4th of July weekend. This will be a live trade video. I will do my best to capture some of my uh, trades as they unfold live. I will keep you updated. Okay, looking for some shares here at 42.20. Uh, you can see that's where this moving average is here. Uh, you know, will it hold? I don't know, but it at least makes a good point to start to build a position if it can get down there. So uh, we'll see if it can. I will keep you updated. Well, you can see there's a bounce I was looking for. It just never got down quite as low as I was hoping. So I've canceled that order and uh, I will keep searching. Okay, going for some at four. Oh, I got 78. Oh, there we go. I'm in. So I'll try to sell these uh, 300 shares at 42.25. Again, I picked those up at 42.10. And if I need to build a bigger position, I will gladly do so. Looks like there's some big buyers at 42. And there I am out for a 15 cent gain on 300 shares. So quick little $45. Uh, if it drops back down there though, I will uh, gladly start to build another position. So 4180, we'll look to buy some more if it wants, to, <coughs> excuse me, if it wants to pull back some more. So uh, I will keep you posted. Looks like 40, uh, 42 is pretty solid area of support, so. But you can tell there's, see there's a big seller up there at 29. I don't believe I'm able to short right now. Let's see. Yeah, let's see the big order at 30. Let's see if I can go to 29. Don't think I can short. Let's see. Nope, not able to short. So that is always disappointing. All right, I will keep you posted if I get uh, filled at 4180. Okay, let's see if we can catch the 42 break. There it is. Let's see if it wants to uh, push down now relatively quickly. There we go. Uh, 4170 is where I changed my order to after watching it uh, unfold a little bit more. So let's see if we can get down there. All right, looks like these bids are coming back in. So I will pause it and come back if it, uh, if it looks like I'm gonna get filled. Going for some shares here short of uh, Twitter at 41.35. You can see we have this moving average uh, up here. So that is where this entry point's coming from, but not sure if it's gonna make it up there. But for the time being, uh, that is where I have an order. I uh, traded some GTAT, but that was more of a, uh, a uh, just a operator error. I accidentally picked up some shares and then was able to get out. But uh, yeah, it wasn't really a, a trade that was meant to be anything. It was just uh, some stupidity on my part. So uh, I'll keep you posted on this trade and anything else that may pop up. I am not going to participate in uh, this one just because watching level two is what's in the chart. It's kind of one of these slow, methodical movers. There's not much, uh, you know, volatility to it. And these are ones where you can easily just get squeezed uh, because it, it, you know, it'll break through and then methodically maybe pull back two cents, three cents, and then hover right around there. And then that's all the consolidation the level twos and chart needs. And then before you know it, it's at 4140s. Uh, so just not enough volatility on this one. So I am backing off after watching a little bit more. Uh, you know, me trying to short up there, that would definitely be uh, forcing a trade. And that is not what you want to do, especially during summertime. So uh, I just need to find some more volatile ones. Uh, but, you know, being the first day back from the July 4th weekend, uh, it is definitely slower out there. So um, you know, not going to force anything. Maybe this will just be a extremely boring video, uh, but it is what it is at this point. So there you can see it's through there and, uh, you know, it's just the way the charts are looking, just not interested. So, uh, I'm going to keep searching though. Okay. Looking to go short here at 48 on uh, WFM. You can see it's all of a sudden really just picked up the pace here. So I'm in, we'll look to, uh, See if I can get eight cents out of it, or better yet, I'd like to build a bigger position into this one. Let me bring over the five minute. You can see uh, very overextended now. So if I'm able to, uh, like I said, build a bigger position, that would be uh, my optimal uh, goal right now. 
and I'm out. So what is that? 24 bucks. How high did it go? 50. So I'll try for some more at 50 and try to rebuild or restart building my position. Let's see what happens. As you can see, nothing has been really happening. Um, it is 10.33 a.m. Eastern time and now I'm up, what, $94. So it's just been super slow. There, I have been working on other things. I'm actually launching a new course today. Uh, so I've been working on getting that finalized stuff done. But still, uh, you know, um, that's it's just not much out there but this is the sort of action I like all of a sudden it explodes um, but yeah even with that now it looks like this might only be a $24 gainer so probably should have been a little bit more aggressive in building a short position but oh well talking in hindsight right now I will uh, try to catch some more okay looking to pick up some on the long side now at uh, 3910 so let's see if I can get some of those might as well cancel this short order. It's not going to be going up there anytime soon. So now my, you know, my uh, rationale is just the same. Big strong move up. Now it's starting to pull back. So trying to, you know, buy the pullback by, uh, you know, the consolidation here. So let's see what happens with it. I will keep you updated. Okay, looking to pick up some. Did I get any? How oh, how low did it go here? One as low as 39.02. My order is at 39.01. So just missed it by a penny. We'll see if it can get back down there though. I will keep you updated. This has got to be one of the worst videos ever, but I guess it uh, is realistic. It just shows that, um, well, again, this is the uh, first day after July 4th weekend, so I'm sure there's some people that are still out at their you know, outside or on vacation or whatever, but just a brutally slow day. Well, I'm going to just wrap things up, keep this video short, um, a super boring day. It is what it is, uh, but I'm, I'm just not going to force any trades. Uh, sorry uh, for the sake of the video. Um, so I'm just going to keep it realistic. And this was just a, a typical day. Like I said, uh, I'm launching a course today. So uh, my attention hasn't been fully on the market, but I've been watching it pretty closely still. And there just isn't, hasn't much uh, that's been out there. So if you're interested in learning how to trade like this, meaning with te or, uh, technical analysis, candlesticks, level twos, I do offer multiple courses. If you go to the training uh, section of my site, claytrader.com, you can see the various courses there. Also, I have a live trading group where you can hang out with me and other traders in the live chat room. I send out a weekly newsletter with my scans. Um, everything very fairly priced, but at the end of the day, I read some testimonials and get a good third-party perspective on it. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a bit better.